Hey guys, Chris here. Uh, on today's video here, we're going to take a look at an application called uh, Sanuti, or Sanuti, I'm not sure how you say it. It's essentially iTunes backwards, but uh, I had a request on how to take songs off of your iPad and put it back onto your computer. Um, essentially, you can't just do that just how uh, iTunes is set up. It doesn't let you put music onto your iTunes or onto your iPad or iPhone and then just say, okay, well, I want to pull all this music back into my library. Um, you have to use a separate application. So uh, we're using this uh, Sanuti. I don't know how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm going to say it. Um, so you can have a 30-day free trial of this, um, and it lets you <clears throat> remove up to a thousand songs off of your device and put it back onto your computer. Um, after that, I think you have to pay for the service. I'm not sure how much it is, but uh, if you don't have more than a thousand songs, then you're in pretty good shape. So I'm going to show you how to uh, go about doing it. Um, I have a folder here, iPad to Mac. You can see it is empty right now, nothing in it. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. I have my iPad plugged in here right now, um, and we have some. Uh, songs from Shinmu uh, as well as uh, some podcasts. So let's go ahead and just pull these uh, audio, these songs from Shinmu, which I'm stoked. They have a Kickstarter that's just killing it right now. Um, and I have it set up here. You can go in uh, and set it up to what I think uh, where you want it to put. You know, if you want it to import directly to iTunes, you can. Um, there's that option here. I'm not going to do that just because I already have these songs in my iTunes. So I just want to show you um, that they are going on to my computer from my iPad. So let's go ahead and just click transfer. Um, we're not going to add it to iTunes right now, but again, if you want to do that, just click that button. Let's say only copy files. Uh, let's see how long it takes. You see it working down here. Um, looks like it's adding that first. Uh, going pretty quick here. Cool. Um, and you can see how many songs I've selected 13 songs, five hours. Um, so once this is done, we'll take a look at this folder, which it may be updating live. Yep, looks like it's doing that, so um, pretty good deal. So that's really all you got to do. Um, I'll put a link to that application uh, in the description below. Uh, again, you have to do a 30-day free trial um, for it to be essentially free. You can do up to a 1,000 songs. Um, after that, I do believe you have to pay for the service. Um, but uh, this works also on Mac. I think there's a separate application you have to use for Windows, but I don't have a Windows computer, um, and I don't have Windows installed on my Mac. Uh, so this is just for the Mac version, but uh, hopefully that helped. Again, little recap, you go into this uh, Sanuti application. Again, it's iTunes spelled backwards to make it easy. Um, you do the 30-day free trial, um, and then you just come in here, and you plug in your device. It loads it up. This is my iPad right here. And you choose what songs or movies or whatever you want pulled off of that. Um, and again, you can have this go right to your iTunes, but because I have these already in my iTunes, um, I just wanted to show you the fact that they do pull off um, from your iPad to your computer. Um, so it's just about done here. And uh, you can see that they're going on to my computer from my iPad. So um, pretty nice little deal here. Um, and... Hopefully this helps you guys. Uh, if you enjoy the video, please subscribe. If you have any requests on what you need help with, uh, let me know, and I'll be happy to help you. Uh, until then, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.